Oh look guys, it's Godzilla. We're slowly coming towards the ghetto of Rotterdam. Even even the color of the water changes. It's becoming more green grayish than it was brown before. And also I would like to apologize beforehand because I uh, I just set up this motor vlog I, I just did this motor vlog setup on this helmet without testing it. This this video is also the first test of this setup. So I hope the noise is good. I hope my voice comes out good. I hope the camera angle is good because I, it's a different mount. And I hope you like this one as well because I, I had this before this camera facing me. Hello. But I changed it when I changed this double bubble. And now uh, I thought, you know what, let's do it again. Especially with the new helmet. I think the helmet looks cool. Uh, this camera angle adds a, adds, a little, uh, adds a little fun, like intimate moment between us. Because now I can talk to you directly. And if you do something wrong, I can shit on you directly. Oh God, I want to go left here, but let's not do that. Did, did their paycheck come in? I need to go left here. Fuck. I'm uh, scouting out a little beforehand to see... What the fuck is your problem? Come into my ass if you want to, you fucking faggot. Why is the little kid looking at me like that? But yeah, I'm scouting out ahead to see if the restaurant I want to sit at isn't too busy at the moment because I want to like relax a little. I don't want that chaos of all those people talking and laughing ah, next to me because I am lonely and I don't want to feel even more lonely oh, I've missed this I've missed riding the bike like this I'm not even sure if I can go left here what a, what a shitty city is this man am I going back to where I was before yeah this is exactly the same place where we were before surprise motherfucker oh, oh my god what the fuck was that I would love to do a vlog in Turkey as well because I am 100% sure you will be amazed and not because of the city because I want to do it from like a motorcycle like a motorcyclist perspective and seek out some awesome roads to ride in Turkey and the asphalt isn't that good but uh, there are some very beautiful gems and like the environment and the vistas are so fucking gorgeous dude so if I, if we ever are big enough that we can uh, that we can pay for our trip to turkey and with pay i mean like or fly over there and rent a bike or stop i come from the right or like pay for like the uh, maintenance and the gasoline and take this bike over there and ride with this bike over there which would be even more awesome but yeah that's that's on my mind i have a very cool route planned out and it's so cold my hands are st like my fingers are starting to cramp up and i feel like it's affecting it's affecting the controls on the bike oh i don't want to die yet it says it's a dead end, but I want to I want to see how it's over there. I see a wall over there, so there might be a nice view. Nope, there is not a nice view because it's just a road. <laughs> oh, you want to know what this is? Oh, cool. Let me let me let me tell you. This is an old bridge where the trams used to travel or the train used to travel over and like that thing would rise up when there would when the boat would come over so when the boat would come that thing would rise and then the boat would go underneath and it would lower again but since then they have changed the railroads to go underneath the water like through a tunnel i'm not sure if you can see it but like you see that green side kind of thing next to that it's like the railroad underneath like under underground so it's cool that they changed the railroad system but because it's kind of like a monument here in Rotterdam they kept this i think that's pretty cool because 
it's a very cool design and shows you a little bit of the history here in, in, in Rotterdam like urban style wise because there's not much left after the Second World War because Rotterdam was one of the cities that got like blown to shit that's why there's a big difference uh, between Rotterdam and Amsterdam Amsterdam is very old buildings and stuff like that like Amsterdam is like retro Holland with the small and crooked buildings right on top of each other and you can see Rotterdam is a little bit more modern especially where, when we are, were like especially there in the city center you have a lot more skyscraper like buildings and that's because like the buildings are very new that's because Hitler like in short Rotterdam looks better than Amsterdam because of Hitler oh, my balls have shrunk so fucking much Ugh. tell me if you guys like this camera I'm not sure if it's dead already or not but if it's not you'll see me talking to you tell me if you like this view if I should do it more often or if should I do it every vlog because if it adds then uh, you, you know if you like it then why not like here, here this is the train track that went over the bridge now it goes under you can see it goes slightly go curves up Rotterdam south so if you want to go through underneath there this is where you want to stop so if you go from Rotterdam to Rotterdam south you'll go underneath that, uh, that bridge like underneath the water and this is one of the biggest the mosques here in uh, Rotterdam and there were a lot of riots here like uh, Dutch people would come and barbecue pork pork meat during the times of Ramadan when uh, all the Muslims are fasting and they would sit across there and they would just start their barbecue and then uh, they saw that the Muslims really didn't care but you know what let's go <laughs> let's go past it and then they saw that the Muslims really didn't care and then they decided to throw the pork meat at the Muslims and then the cops showed up and uh, cops didn't really do anything it was more like come on don't throw the meat let's go come on move it along and just shoot them off but then again I don't think like throwing meat cooked meat is a uh, is a crime it's annoying, but I don't think it's a crime. Uh, starting to get cold. You know what? I think I'm gonna head home because it's really starting to get cold. <clears throat> Once I'm home, I'll make a latte macchiato, latte macchiato, latte macchiato. Uh, it's so cold. Yo, you have ripped jeans. Ah. Oh my god, oh my god, no, I'm heading home. You know what? Let's get on the map. Uh, MX5! Sky active! Sky active technology means it can fly because it's active in the sky! <laughs> I gotta be careful because this is the kind of wind that can just wipe the bike from underneath me. Especially if I'm leaned over too far. I hope my camera doesn't blown off like this one or the one on my head. Maybe it would have been smart if I just took this one off, but it's a little bit too late now. I wish I had really grips right now. It's much more to slip free. Oh, there's a lot of bumping and bumping. Slip streaming wasn't that bad. It wasn't that smart of an idea. Camera flipped over. Okay, I can't go fast. I cannot go fast. The wind made me. The wind, the wind made my camera blow over. Oh god! Oh, oh shit! I don't know how hard the wind is. I'm right on the screen right now at the moment. But oh my god! It's cold as fuck. I saw this camera vibrate a lot, I thought it was going to fly off but then the one on my head just flipped over my legs are shaking so much it's starting to cramp they are starting to cramp okay guys, uh, I'm at the side of the road as you can see because uh, my license plate 
full wall. Now, I'm not sure where. So I gotta find my license plate number now. I gotta find my license plate now. So I hope we'll find it. I'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys, as you can, as you can see, <laughs> like the whole license plate holder just flew off, I think. Because, oh, I can see this part here is broken. It just broke fucking off. And this is from the old license plate. Yeah, it's a plastic that broke off. Oh my god, fucking hell. Now I gotta deal with this shit. So, uh, I'm afraid that until I fix this shit, there might not be any motor vlogs. I'll see you guys later.